Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I multiply positive and negative fractions? So the first thing that you want to do is cross simplify those fractions, make the numbers as small as possible so that they're easier to work with. Remember, we're going to follow integer rules when multiplying. You can use the Mickey Mouse to help you remember the clues. So like if you have a negative times a negative, you're left with a positive, so it's positive. If you have a negative times a positive, you're left with a negative, so it's negative. We are going to multiply straight across the fractions. We're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators, and then we'll write our final answer in simplest form. So cross simplify. Remember your integer rules, multiply straight across and then simplify. So let's look at number one. Let's cross simplify first. So five and three do not have any numbers in common. So those are not going to cross simplify, but two and 12 do. Those are both easy or even. So I can divide by two and that'll change to one and a six. So these fractions will change to one third times five, six. And now I'm gonna multiply straight across. Five times one is five and three times six is 18. And that does not simplify any further. So our answer here is just five eighteenths. Okay, let's look at number two. So I have a negative times a positive, so that means that my final answer will be negative. Okay, now let's cross simplify. So six and 27 are both divisible by three. So six divided by three is two, 27 divided by three is nine. And then 14 and seven are both divisible by seven. 14 divided by seven is two, seven divided by seven is one. So my new fractions are negative two over one times two over nine. And now I just multiply straight across. Two times two is four, and then one times nine is nine, and I make it negative. And that is most simplified, so we are done. All right, let's look at number three. I have a negative times a negative, so I'm going to have a positive answer. Okay, now let's see if we can cross simplify anything. So six and 30 both have a common factor of six. Six divided by six is one, 30 divided by six is five. And then 26 and 13 both have a common factor of 13. 26 divided by 13 is two, 13 divided by 13 is one. So I end up getting negative one over one times negative two over five. And one times two is two, one times five is five. And it is positive since we had a negative times a negative. And two fifths cannot be simplified any further, so we are done. All right, let's look at number four. One half times negative 11 over 28. So I have a positive times a negative, so that means I'm gonna have a negative answer. And let's see if we can cross simplify anything. One and 28 do not have a common factor and 11 and two do not either. So this is the most that, or it's already simplified, one half times negative 11 over 28. So now I'm just gonna multiply across. One times 11 is 11, two times 28, Two times eight is 16, two times two is four plus one is five. So I get 11 over 56 and it was negative since I had a positive times a negative. All right, number five, I have a negative times a positive, so that means I'm gonna have a negative answer. Let's see if we can cross simplify. Four and 32 are both divisible by four. So the four will reduce to a one, the 32 will reduce to an eight. And then 23 and seven do not have any common factors, so those will stay 23 and seven. So I get negative 23 over 32 times, oh no, I changed the 32 and eight. Negative 23 over eight times positive one over seven. And then I just multiply across Negative 23 times one is negative 23, and then eight times seven is 56. Okay, number six, let's cross simplify first. Or I have a negative times, let's do the integer rules first. I have a negative times a negative, so that means I'm gonna have a positive answer. Now let's cross simplify. So four and 16 are both divisible by four. Four times, or four divided by four is one. 16 divided by four is four. 
and then 33 and 11 are both divisible by 11. 11 will reduce to a 1, 33 will reduce to a 3. Okay, so I'm going to have a negative 1 over 1 times a negative 3 over 4. And now I just multiply across. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4, and it's a positive answer. Okay, let's look at number 7. It says, at an aquarium, there are 68 exhibits. Of the exhibits, 4 out of 17 have octopuses in them. How many octopuses are in the aquarium? So I'm going to do 68 times 4 out of 17, and that will tell me how many octopuses there are in the aquarium. And I'm going to change this to a 68 over 1 times 4 over 17. I put the 68 over 1 because I need to multiply across. Okay, I think that 68 um, might have a factor of 17. Um, I'm going to do 17 times 4 and see if I get 68. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes. Okay, so I can cross simplify the 68 and 17 because they're both divisible by 17. The 68 will reduce to a 4 and the 17 will reduce to a 1. So now when I multiply, I'm going to do 4 over 1 times... 4 over 1, or that's just 4 times 4, which is 16. So that means 16 of the exhibits have octopus.